Everyone seems to be bringing out stall aircraft lately, and I want in on the fun. So let's take a look at the OMP Bighorn and see what all the fuss is about. First impressions right out of the box. This thing is light. It's really light. Why is that? Well, it's traditional construction. So it's wood and covering as opposed to a load of foam. That makes it a lot, lot lighter, which bows really well for its stall capabilities. After all, what do you look for in a stall aircraft for short takeoff and landings? You want big wheels. You want a big wing and you want a light all of weight and this thing checks all three boxes it also has flaps now there are a few different versions of this model though so just beware aside from the color schemes you can choose it with or without flaps and with or without pre-installed electronics this particular version is the one that has both flaps and the electronics installed so it should be really quick getting this up in the air. What's it come with? Not very much really. You have of course the fuselage, the wings, the elevator and the rudder. We've got the nice big wheels on the landing gear, carbon wing tube, prop and an accessory kit that's barely worth mentioning. It's pretty much just a couple of push rods and some velcro. Everything else seems to be done for us. So let's get building. I want to try my first go at stall aircraft. We start by inserting the elevator into the fuselage and making sure that it's parallel to the wings as well as centered by measuring the distance from the elevator tips to the wing tips. Once we have it in the right location, we run cyano down both edges, top and bottom, as well as through the inside. We attach the rudder by inserting the pre-prepared hinges into the fuselage making sure that there's a correct gap at the top and then once again secure with Sino, this time into the hinge slot. We fix the tail wheel to the rudder, making sure not to over tighten the screw so it has a little bit of play forwards and backwards. Onto the business end, we attach the landing gear using the three pre-prepared blind nuts and bolts. Attaching the push rods is easy, just find the right measurements for the right locations and snap into place. And then finally attach the propeller and spinner. And that's it, one finished airplane. We're just missing installing the receiver and setting up the radio, which I'll be doing next. As for the build itself, I would say that if I wasn't filming this, it would have probably taken me around 10 to 15 minutes. Gluing in the elevator and the hinges with Sino is something that I haven't done for quite a long time, and it's definitely as little fun as I remembered it. But that said, Everything slotted in quite easily and it wasn't a problem in itself. Everything else was just a case of screwing the prop on, screwing the landing gear on and slotting in all of the ball links for those push rods. Other than that, it comes ready to go. So I'm going to get setting up my radio, see what kind of fun mixes I can come up with for the flaps and ailerons to get this to take off as quickly as possible and slow down as much as it can.
And that is The Big Horn by OMP Hobbies. A load of fun in a small package. The only thing I would change would be the wheels and the landing gear. The wheels are solid and the landing gear doesn't have any kind of spring in it. So unless you make an absolutely perfect landing, it's always going to bounce a little bit. So I would change the wheels for something a little bit softer and an undercarriage that has a little bit of spring in it. Other than that, it's absolutely great. It's one of the few planes I've seen where the magnets actually hold things firmly in place. You can even practically lift the airplane up from the magnets on the hatches before they come off. So all very, very good top quality. As for the actual flying surfaces, we've got nice big surfaces. So as we've seen, I had both the ailerons and the flap working as ailerons, as well as flaps, as well as butterfly. It can do all the tricks in the book and a load of fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.